video shows a small example of how to use uh, angular material input field so in this case i'm especially looking for a, a field where i may input uh, a, a time value so this is a material field and look if you click inside uh, of the material field or input field then the uh, active color of this label will change so how does it work um, uh, here in my application i had to add uh, here by ng add here on the uh, terminal ng add go a little bit back ng add angular material that's what you see here on the bottom line then the material fields uh, will be or material library will be in, inserted into your angular ap application and then um, you may use when you have your uh, input components ts and your component html inside the html you may use this one uh, simply type there uh, mat form field so this is the mat form field is this one this block the block uh, which includes the label and the uh, input field so that's the mat form field which contains of two fields then um, you may add a style which is the width but you may whenever you want to change the style type it here in uh, inside the first tag and uh, to get uh, to get recognized of this mat form field um, you have to go to app modules and insert here forms module that's uh, default for import fields or for formulas and also the mat input module that's what you see there and then you also have to click it and here uh, insert here from angular forms and angular forms uh, material input so these are the input fields um, you may add further input stuff from the material library then and then i all what i took there is uh, i said here i have a value string in my in my component typescript file this is of type public which is default uh, value string in this case uh, of type string and then i got a label and uh, one is of the type date and the type date is also uh, type string in the uh, has should be in the of type string and simply recorded in the uh, in the format of as a string 08 double point zero zero or 24 something 24 format now i start my uh, surf again and she surf i save this one and now when i'm on and the output you have here inside your mat form field this is my uh, mat form field take a mat label mat label is this um, the first field this one this simple gray uh, stuff like a small label when you may also click on the label that's the type for there when you click on the label you also jump into the input field um, and the color change when you jump in there and then you have the mat label mat dash label and mat in, uh, and the input that's not a mat input it's an input field and you may say set the type in here so you also have here the mat input that's input of mat in, input uh, this changes um, the behavior of that file of the input field default input input field and inside here you may say type time or type text time uh, these types are default by html uh, and then you bind the variable to with this one ng model uh, and this round bracket and uh, uh, quarter bra called brackets i don't know what the word therefore is those two brackets and then you collect connect the string beside there so this is value string and the value string is this one value string that's a variable and when you do this I jump now to this point then we have uh, as soon as you when you connect here in your file here this by ng model the variable when you equals this one then the variables is always inside the model and the binding is there so when i whenever i type something 
also the variable in the background is uh, refreshed. So this is the default stuff. Oh, my camera is wrong. Uh, that's what I've seen now. And uh, the same is here for type date. So when I when you type something in here, when you say uh, something like this, a valid a valid uh, number which is uh, 11 and 99, for example, is no number. So these two uh, correlate also, and you're not able to say to set something in the wrong uh, way in here. So this is an um, example for this code for material field and I've written my examples here in my website and there's also this code which you have seen there and that's input type text and input type uh, input type string and insert those two modules in there those modules in your app module ts and then everything is fine.